I teach fifth grade here at Garfield Elementary and it's general subjects. I teach everything, but I'm also the science teacher for all of fifth grade and the STEM coordinator for the school. To answer what I love most about teaching is hard because I love so many things about it. Uh, working with the children, of course. Um, I'm in love also with working with the families. The families are a huge part of what I do. We're all in to create the best educational environment, both family and school, for the kiddo. I really see the community as a resource for the classroom, as a resource for the families too, as well as the families being a resource for what we're doing. It's our job, the family's job, my job, to go and connect with industry and community partners to bring that into the classroom. I want my students to receive um, the same opportunities as any other zip code in this country. I want them to be able to have the opportunities to build robotics, to um, know how to code, to have some experience and working with hands-on with technology. These kiddos um, don't often have the opportunity to do after-school extracurricular robotics camps or science camps in the summer, so they get that here. I make sure that there are the opportunities um, and access to uh, try to eliminate some of those gaps that are in the STEM pipeline. The best way I have found to forge real world connections is to embed real world situations and context in everything that I teach. Um, to keep content areas fragmented and isolated is ineffective. You need to integrate the models and so they can see the connections and bridges between um, the different content areas, for example. Last year in the news, we had a lot of heavy coverage about the Flint, Michigan water crisis. So I picked a picture from the Flint, Michigan crisis. We started talking about filtration and we started talking about access and who in the world doesn't have clean water and how do we get it and what does that look like if we wanted to test Garfield Elementary's water or the Boise River. So we started um, looking at the science behind water and we went down to the Boise River and did testing Suez water, for our community resource was in, involved telling us how they use filtration at a city level. We built filters. So all of that is to say that really using the context of the world around you makes content area within the classroom that much richer. I really believe that we have the potential of changing the trajectory of a child's life based on what we do in the classroom. 